Using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funds, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company is making one of Hanford's process canyons ready for demolition. The last tank standing between U Canyon and Demo Ready status is out of the canyon and safely at the Central Waste Complex. Tank D10, deposited for storage in U Canyon Cell 30 back in 1965, contained over a kilogram of true waste, too much to be compliantly grouted in place with the rest of the building. Removing a 7 foot tall, 15,000 pound, highly radioactive tank while minimizing risks to the workers removing it is no simple task. But on August 4th, two years of planning, preparation, and mock-ups came to fruition. Using the building's existing overhead crane and video monitor, the tank was transported down the 800 foot long canyon deck and placed into the custom made shipping container staged in the building's railroad entry tunnel. By the following week, the package was sealed tight, surveyed, and ready to ship. On August 10th, the tank left the U-plant zone for good. I think one of the key lessons that, we've, that, that we can take away from this is we had a very good team of, of craft along with, with our engineers working together to solve all the problems, working together to get craft involvement in it. Been a success to this project. With the tank out of U Canyon, the final phase of preparing the massive building for a first-of-its-kind demolition can proceed. Grouting has passed the halfway mark. In the end, the canyon's void spaces will have over 20,000 cubic yards of grout inside them. Now to this out, it's a, basically it's a downhill draw for us to go ahead and actually move forward and actually get uh, the rest of the canyon uh, ready for grout and actually finish by September 30th. This is all part of the Department of Energy's commitment to clean up and shrink the Hanford site footprint.